डियर स्टूडेंट्स आज के इस लेक्चर में हम जानेंगे मोड्स ऑफ इन्वायरमेंटल अवेयरनेस के बारे में इन्वायरमेंटल एजुकेशन के बारे में तो जैसा कि आप जानते हैं कि इन्वायरमेंटल अवेयरनेस है जो है ये हम किस लिए ये समझने के लिए है कि इन्वायरमेंट हमारे माहौल की क्या नज़ाकत है और इसको बचाने की क्या अहमियत है तो ये इन्वायरमेंटल अवेयरनेस हमने समझाती है तो ये इन्वायरमेंटल अवेयरनेस जो है प्रमोटिंग इट इज़ एन इजी वे टू बिकम एन इन्वायरमेंटल स्टवर्ट एंड पार्टिसिपेट इन क्रिएटिंग अ रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ ह्यूमंस टू रेस्पेक्ट प्रोटेक्ट एंड प्रिजर्व द नेचुरल वर्ल्ड फ्रॉम इट्स इंथ्रोपोजेनिक एफ्लिक्शंस बाय टीचिंग आवर फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली दैट द फिजिकल इन्वायरमेंट इज फ्रेजाइल एंड इनडिसपेंसेबल वी कैन begin fixing the problems that threaten it numerous resources are available to promote environmental awareness that can be used in promoting the environment these are formal education non formal education public awareness through population education programs national environmental awareness program informational and spiritual seminars environmental books and brochures and media this environmental education starts within the family with the birth of the child and continues throughout his primary and secondary education however uh, this education cannot be limited to formal institutions since an individual also acquires awareness through his social life and social contacts the system of education in which education is carried out in accordance with some established or prescribed rules is called as formal education system in india the formal education system it is the mandate of the ministry of human resources development mhrd however the ministry and environment forest uh, environment and forest has been consulting and in fracting with mhrd uh, national council of educational research and training the apical body of uh, shaping education in schools in india and hrd departments of different states to include the environmental education in the curricula at various levels the system of education in which education is carried out without any pre established and prescribed rules and the body concerned with educating the public is free to design the courses module the activity schedule or the um, program concerning environmental awareness is called as non formal education the non formal environmental education for building of environmental awareness is imparted through various means like eco clubs population education programs environmental campaigns and through other means the population education uh, is a very important part of education which acts as a powerful agent of building awareness regarding development and environment it encourages the learners to understand the impacts of population growth on environment in general and about the impact of population growth on natural resources in particular it teaches about the impact of population on civic amenities and spread of various types of general and sexually transmitted diseases like we have uh, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome this uh, under the nec nominal financial assistance is provided to registered ngos schools colleges universities research institutions women and youth organizations army units state governments uh, departments etc uh, through nodal agencies these institutes organize awareness activities uh, fixed by the ministry for a particular year presently the campaign is implemented through 29 regional resource agencies for specific states or regions of our country these agencies are responsible for the physical monitoring of activities of different organizations another tool which is key in bringing environmental awareness is media 
Environmental education through media consists of development of environmental awareness in all segments of society by raising environmental consciousness among individuals, including positive enduring behavior. Media it plays an important role in forming the positive attitude towards the environment as it reaches a vast percentage of global population. It acts as a force which plays an active role in alerting people about environmental damage, uh, corporate failures to meet its obligations, truthful analysis of new legislations and steps for protection and conservation of environment. Various international organizations as well as conferences have also emphasized the importance of different types of media such as newspapers, radio, television, electronic or print in creating environmental awareness among people of both rural and as well as urban areas. Getting all individuals in society to receive environmental education is critical and media is an effective means for calling in attention to environmental issues making the public aware about problems creating by pollution created by pollution and hence can be instrumental in creating public pressure to do a handful for environment so you know ki ye environmental awareness jo hai ye hamare ghar se shuru hoti hai to sabse pehle humne apne aap ko apne bachchon ko अपने घर में जो भी फैमिली मेंबर्स है तो उनको इन्वायरमेंट मेंट की जो प्रॉब्लम्स हैं या इसकी जो इम्पॉर्टेंस है तो उससे हमने अपनी फैमिली को अवेयर करना है तो फैमिली से बाहर जाके फिर फैमिली वाले अपने जो नेबर्स हैं तो उनको अवेयर करना है तो इस तरह से पूरी कम्यूनिटी को हम अवेयर कर सकते हैं तो इस इन्वायरमेंटल प्रॉब्लम्स के बारे में या इन्वायरमेंट की इम्पॉर्टेंस के बारे में तो ये हम ऐसे ही नॉन फॉर्मली भी कर सकते हैं है तो इसके लिए ज़रूरी नहीं है फॉर्मल एजुकेशन ही फॉर्मल एजुकेशन तो है ही है उसमें भी मतलब सिलेबाई में बुक्स वगैरह है तो उससे हम ये एजुकेशन हासिल करते हैं लेकिन फॉर्मल के अलावा हम इन्वायरमेंट का जहाँ तक ताल्लुक है इन्वायरमेंट एजुकेशन का जहाँ तक ताल्लुक है तो ये हम नॉन फॉर्मली भी कर, कर सकते हैं तो इसमें खाली स्टूडेंट्स का ही रोल नहीं रहता या टीचर्स कम्युनिटी का रोल नहीं रहता है इसमें मीडिया का रोल रहता है इसमें गवर्नमेंट का रोल रहता है इसमें एन नॉन गवर्नमेंटल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का रोल रहता है वो क्या सेमिनार्स करते हैं बड़े बड़े डिबेट्स करते हैं इन बर्निंग प्रॉब्लम्स के बारे में या इनकी सोल्यूशनस के बारे में तो ये इस तरह से हम क्या करते हैं इस तरह से हम ये अपना जो इन्वायरमेंट है इसकी अवेयरनेस लोगों तक पहुँचाते 